This video will introduce you to our new Service Activities Metrics page. From the home page, all you need to do is select Service from the top menu. When you do so, a page will load, and this is our new view that we are more than happy to show you. This is going to give you a full depiction of the total metrics and service activities for various areas. The system will default to your club. Notice on the left there are filters. In the area filter, it defaults to your club. You could also select the district. This will alter the list to include all clubs and district level activities. One level higher will get you to the multiple district area. The multiple district area list will give you all of the clubs, districts, and multiple district level activities within the multiple district. Now notice the numbers and the list have been changing based on my filter. If the, re if the report or the list shows more than 2,000 rows, it's going to let you know that here at the top. You're seeing a total of 2,000 out of 2,422. Now there is no way to export this list just yet, but it certainly does give you an opportunity to look for activities pretty easily in your area. If there is a specific club that you are interested in looking for, or maybe just the district activities, there is a way to select for that, but I'm going to show you at the multiple district, maybe I just want to look at the Belvedere Club. So notice that as I started typing, the system is looking for the same data within the list. And I can go ahead and see the Belvedere Club activities. Now I could do the same for any data within the columns. If I wanted to type it in, it'll start looking for it. Further, if you have selected a higher level, such as district or multiple district, notice that over here in the sponsor filter, a couple down, you'll see that I can look for just the multiple district level activities, and those are the ones sponsored by the multiple district. I could select just the district sponsor ones. This will give me all the districts level activities within the multiple district, all the way down to any LEO clubs within the multiple district. So pretty good at finding what you need there. I'm going to go back to the club level and back to my club listing. Here I can select, I can leave it current fiscal year, or I can select all, which would give me the current fiscal year and the previous two fiscal years. And that's the extent of what will show on the list. If I wanted to look at my sponsored Leo Club activities, I can look at that by selecting Leo. Also, Again, I can select service project or donation, whatever I want to look for, and then also any kind of cause specific activities if I'm interested. The entire time these top level metrics are changing according to the filters. I'm going to reset everything back. I'm going to kind of go up a little bit. I'm going to talk real quick about these numbers. The numbers in the boxes at the top represent the capped numbers that have been reported to LCI. So these numbers will match what you would find in the insights reports and the other reports designated for service activities from LCI. Another way to see this list is if you go directly to the account page, meaning if I was to go to my home club, and look at the club service activities tab here on my club, I will see the same listing. 
it's a little bit squished right now. We're going to be working on getting the full uh, expanse here. But until that's available, it's a little squished, but it's the exact same data. You'll see the filters over here available as well. If I wanted to go uh, to the district page to look at the district level activities or the clubs within the district, I can come here to the district account page, select district service activities, and now it's going to allow me to look and filter based on the district. And that is the extent of the new metrics page. I hope that you find this information helpful and that you enjoy this improvement. Thank you so much for your time.